everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to make these awesome texture monsters out of just some coffee filters and some marker. Uh, you also need glue so you can glue them all together on a piece of paper. And other than that, you can really decide uh, if you're going to use scrap paper to collage a face and arms, or if you want to use marker or Sharpie or some other drawing tool to draw your details on. So there's a lot of choice in this project, but what I'm really going to show you and focus on is how to create these super adorable little hoof balls out of just marker and some coffee filters. So let's get started. Okay, so for this first stage, all you're really gonna need are some coffee filters. For a monster, I try to do like maybe three for a monster would be good. You could do one with one or two or even more, but I think three is a nice number. Some washable markers, that's really important that they're washable. Uh, Sharpies or permanent markers won't work. And something to get it wet. So you can use like an old spray bottle. This is just a spray bottle that I recycled that just is full of water. You use like a damp sponge or even just like a paintbrush to spread water. What you're gonna do is you wanna take one of your coffee filters and you spread it flat and you're gonna color it. And you just wanna color it with um, a cool funky design. You also wanna kinda pick some colors that uh, maybe go together cause they're gonna get kinda mixed up. So if you use too many different colors, when they mix, they're gonna turn brown. So once you're done coloring your coffee filter, you're just gonna get it wet. So like I said, you could use a paintbrush to get it wet. Be careful if you have colors underneath though because uh, those are gonna get mixed up. So you might wanna make sure to clean up your workstation. Before you start getting it wet. But you can just spread some water with the paintbrush. I like to just spray it and let it sit and dry. You might even consider doing that on top of just like a blank piece of paper. Another way to do your design is some kids take these and fold them in half and fold it into fourths and then they just decorate one side and get it wet. So I'm gonna try that too. So this time I really only colored one layer and I'm gonna find a nice clean spot to spray it. This way you need to make sure it gets wet enough to go all the way through to the back. So you might need to spray your folded up one a little bit more. Or you can even just try folding it in half and doing a design. This is also a great project to use up those markers that are about dead, that don't work too good. Um, because when you spray them, they get a lot brighter. So even if your marker is a little bit streaky, this is a good project to use it on. So this one I've only colored one side. Now this is the hardest part, which is waiting for them to dry. All right, so for our next step, we need to have our coffee filters all dry. So mine have dried overnight. And you're gonna need scissors, some kind of glue, and if possible, a piece of paper to glue your new monster onto. I grabbed black so that the colors would stand out more, but white or any other color will work just as good. So remember this one 
was the one that we just colored. You can see that all the colors mixed together, the design kind of blurred, and even some areas where it got super wet, the colors faded. This is the one that we folded into fourths and just colored one side. So when we open it up, on this one, it repeated its design all the way around. It also really collected color in those folds and on the edges. This is one that we just colored in half and sprayed. You can see that it mirrored that color across from one side to the other. So three different effects. They're all pretty cool, I think. And now I'm ready to turn it into a big poofy monster ball. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut the edges of each one. Now you don't want to cut all the way to the center. I'm just going to make cuts about three fingers in. All the way around. You can do them far apart or close together. The further apart they are, the bigger the pieces you have to work with. But the closer together, the more hairy and poofy your monster is. So I'm actually going to double these. Then you want these to either be crinkly or curly or wrinkly in some way. One thing that I like to do is kind of zigzag them. So just fold them back and forth and that kind of gives them like a little poof to them. So you can do that to each piece if you want to. Or you can take them and twist them up around a pencil and slide the pencil out and that kind of makes them roll. Or you can just kind of squish them and scrunch them and then I kind of pull them back out so they have some kind of texture. You just want them to look 3D. You don't want them to look all flat. So there's my first layer with my crinkly, wrinkly little hairs. I didn't, I try not to wrinkle the middle. That's your monster's body. And I'm just gonna repeat that to these two. And I'm gonna save a little time by putting them together and cutting them both at the same time. Now, even if you cut them together, you want to kind of crinkle them or wrinkle them or fold them separately because you want each layer to kind of poof apart because that's what's going to give your monster a fluffy look. All right, once you're done cutting and wrinkling the edges of your coffee filters, you're going to glue them onto your piece of paper. If you don't have a piece of paper, you can just glue them together and it can be a little freestanding monster but I want to give it some arms and legs, so I'm going to glue it on a piece of paper. Now, this one's probably the brightest, but to be honest, I think that the lightest one stands out best on the black. So I'm going to put this one on top. I'm going to glue it on last. I'm going to glue this one on the bottom. And I know I'm going to give my monster some legs and some arms, so instead of putting them right in the middle, I'm going to put up just a little bit. You can use liquid glue or you can use glue sticks. The thing with liquid glue is uh, it is going to make your colors mix a little more. It might make them fade. If that's all you've got, that's fine. Just do a very skinny circle, kind of right along almost to where you would cut. And then maybe a little bit more in the middle and flip it over. And you want that flat area to get glued nice and flat but you want all your crinkles and wrinkles to stay nice and crinkly and wrinkly. You don't want them to get glued on. So you can see with liquid glue, it shows through. Uh, some people might like that, but I prefer to use a glue stick for this. So you're just gonna do the same thing with the glue stick. You can really get that whole area but just be careful that you don't accidentally tear your coffee filter. Make sure you're pushing down, not pulling apart. So you just put one circle right on top of the one below it and spread it out really nice and flat and make sure that your little poofs aren't getting glued underneath. All right, so you can see with three of those coffee filters, you really get a lot of three-dimensionality here. It's really big and poofier on the edges. 
You could also use this to do like a beautiful flower and put a little center. You could keep on adding more and making it get fuller and fuller and fuller, which might look really cool. But I love monsters, so this is gonna become a monster. So to turn this into a monster, what you need is some stuff to make eyes and a mouth or whatever face details you want. I just have some scrap paper. Um, oil pastels would also work if you have googly eyes, whatever you wanna glue on here. But these are just some scraps that I have from other art projects. And you need something to make your arms and your legs. Uh, you can cut paper to make your arms and legs, or you can use something, some kind of drawing tool. If this is on white paper, you could really use just about any tool to draw arms and legs. This is on black paper. Um, oil pastels work really good on black paper. If you don't have those though, you can always just cut out arms and legs out of some scraps. But I'm gonna make the eyes and mouth first. So you guys can see for the face, all you really need is like some black and white paper. Eyes would be white with black dots, mouth, a black shape with some white teeth. You can really get creative with those shapes. You know, this is a monster, so I guess his eyes don't really have to be circular. Uh, you know, pointy teeth make your monster have a really different personality than square rectangle teeth. Uh, you can leave your monster just as one of these cute little poof ball monsters, but I think I'm going to give my monster some arms and some legs. So like I said before, you can either draw those with a material like oil pastel because oil pastel shows up pretty good on black paper. These oil pastels aren't showing up as good as some, um, but I actually think I'm just gonna use some more of my scrap paper to cut out some funky arms and legs. So I couldn't really use black because it's on black, but white would work great and so would this orange color that I have some extra of. A couple long skinny rectangles make great arms and when you do two, then you can have them bend to create an elbow to decide if your monsters waving or what they're doing with their arms. When you put these on, don't have them sticking out here attached to the hair. Kind of pick up that poof hair and slide your appendages, your arms and legs underneath so it would attach to the actual body of your monster. The same thing really goes for legs. You could just do two rectangles and that would create your knees. So if your monster is running or jumping or kicking, you know, you'd want to have one straight line and another straight line. Even if your monster is just standing, it makes more sense for their legs to have a bend in them. Really all it takes to make a pretty awesome monster. If you really want to, you can always, you know, cut out smaller pieces for feet or hands, stuff like that. Little squares and rectangles make great feet. Um, you know, if you've got some scrap paper, you can give your monster a hat or it could be holding something. Uh, you know, you can add more facial details like eyebrows or a nose. But even if your monster just has eyes and mouth and arms and legs, I think these guys come out pretty cool. That's it. All right guys, that's it. So the monster that I showed you, I made using paper to collage all of his little face features and arms and legs and stuff, cutting it out and gluing it on. But if you don't have some different colors of scrap paper to choose from, uh, remember, you can also just use the same markers to create all those details on your little creature uh, that you use to color your coffee filters. So uh, the materials you have, you know, are really up to you which ones you use. Uh, there's a lot of choice and variety here. As long as you have some coffee filters and some marker to make these cute little puff balls, that's all it takes. And I guess these don't have to be little monster creatures. You could make them into lots of different things, a flower or, um, I don't know.
know a tutu on a ballerina, you could really use this technique to make lots of stuff with this fun, funky texture. But I think they just make the most adorable little goofball monsters. So get creative. Bye guys, thanks for watching.